Hi everyone, Miss Husson here with my assistant Whiskers. You know, when Whiskers and I sit together and she loves to get pet, I often tease her about her little vampire teeth. You're not a vampire, are you Whiskers? Of course not. Teeth and other body structures are specially adapted for the function or purpose they have. Our teeth are adapted too, and so are yours. Now, for instance, if we look at whiskers here, oh, hold still. She has eyes in front of her face. That gives her good vision for hunting. If you were a prey species, you would have eyes on the side of your head. She also has great big hind legs. These muscles help her jump, and this tail helps her balance. So you see, all adaptations or physical characteristics help an animal survive because they all have a purpose. Today, we're gonna focus on the purpose of teeth and how they can help us understand what kinds of things animals are eating. Did you know you could figure out what type of consumer an organism is based on looking at its teeth? Let's take a look at some animals here. Take a look at this cow skull here. You might recognize it from the lab. If we look closer at the teeth, we can figure out what it's been eating. Now, of course, you probably already know what cows eat, right? But notice, it doesn't have all of the same teeth you and I have. In the front, what we're missing are its front teeth. Now, it would have a set of flat incisors, just like mine, or yours. Great for cow smiles. Then they're missing a whole segment of teeth in the middle, and they only have the, this back row that are flat and wide. These are great for chewing. Now, I brought the other part of the skeleton, the lower jaw, sets right in here and you can see it's a perfect fit. Great for chewing. This is important because cows need to chew and chew and chew to get rid of all of their food. They have to break down tough leaves and make it easy for them to digest. Pretty cool. That makes him an herbivore. Let's take a look at another skull. This tiny skull you see before me belonged to a muskrat. A muskrat, what is that you say? Well, it's a type of rodent. Let's take a closer look at its skull to figure out what it's been eating. If I turn it around, you can see that this muskrat had long, front teeth that are flat at the bottom. And like the cow, it is missing all these teeth in the middle. Underneath, we have two rows of molars. Those are those wide, flat grinding teeth that you have in the back of your mouth. So once again, we have an herbivore, something that just eat, eats plants. A plant eater needs front teeth that are flat and sharp for cutting through vegetation and flat molars for chewing. Take a look at this. Crocs have very specialized teeth. Unlike the cow and the muskrat, we have teeth here that are sharp and pointed. In fact, these sharp pointy teeth run all the way around the length of this mouth. There are no gaps involved here. These teeth are good for ripping and tearing through flesh. Arr. That's because crocs are carnivores. Carnivores don't need to chew on plants. They don't even need to cut plants. They don't need those flat teeth in the front or molars in the back, but they do need lots and lots of piercing teeth that can rip through meat. But what about us? We're neither carnivores nor herbivores. We are omnivores. Omnivores have especially shaped teeth. 
Take a look at this picture of the American black bear skull. You'll notice that these teeth are different from both the cow and the croc. If I look in the front, you can see that it has flat teeth. These are for cutting vegetation. It also has those vampire teeth or canines. You can see from the side that those are sharp and for piercing and tearing meat. But look here, some other teeth in the middle and flat molars in the back. This means American black bears eat both meat and plants. They're omnivores, just like you and me. Now let's take some time to practice. I'm going to show you a few pictures and we'll see if we can figure out what these animals are eating based on the shape of their teeth. Clues. Take a look at beaver's teeth. What do you notice? Do you see these flat front teeth? How about these molars in the back? Yep, you guessed it, beavers are herbivores. African elephants are huge and they also have huge teeth. The back teeth of an African elephant are 12 inches across. But notice they're flat. Yep, you got it. Those are molars. Elephants are herbivores too. Check out this gorilla's teeth. Adult gorillas have 32 teeth, just like you and me. Hey, they have teeth going all the way around. I see sharp teeth towards the front, flat teeth way up front, and molars in the back. This is because gorillas are not herbivores. They're not carnivores. You got it, they're omnivores. Check out these pit viper's teeth. Now they are pretty amazing. These fangs up in the front can inject venom into its prey. And notice how all the other teeth are also sharp and they're pointed inward. This is so that an animal can't escape once it's in the pit viper's mouth. That's definitely a carnivore. How about this dinosaur? Can you tell what it eats? Lots of sharp teeth. No molars. You got it. This guy's a carnivore. Well, I hope you had fun learning about structures and functions and how clues inside an animal's mouth can tell you what type of consumer it is, an herbivore, a carnivore, or an omnivore. Thanks for watching. See you next time.